MD. MD, how many times have I called you? It's like you and your brother wants to see the other side of me. Don't worry. I will throw you both out of my house very soon. Your people are not ashamed of yourself. Just to pay a year rent at once, you can't. You guys should better go and join those sleeping under the bridges. Because that's where your caliber of people ought to be. Mr. Landlord, I want to ask you a question. Yes? What's the stupid question you have? I heard how your late wife died was that she slept at night and didn't wake up the next day. Ever since I heard that story, I have been conducting an autopsy in my mind to find out what actually killed your late wife. Mr. Landlord, I have finally come to a profound and concrete conclusion that it is your big stomach that you must have used to suffocate and killed your late wife that very night. Therefore, I want us to do trade by butter. I will be training you with exercise on how to reduce your pot belly and you will not collect house strength from me again. Oga okay, landlord, it is for your own good though, so that you will not use this your pot belly again to suffocate one of your children. Caleb, guess what? You know I'm not good at guessing. What happened? Why are you this happy? Did you win a lotto? Funny you! Anyway, my mother would be traveling by weekend She's going to see her sister at the village. She's going to be staying there for one week. She told me not to open the shop or sale until she returns. And that means by next week, we both are going to be having quality, uninterrupted, freaky time. Wow! What a good news! My exams too end this weekend. Um, what a coincidence. So tell me, um, what a coincidence. So tell me. You're going to be staying here with me until mommy returns? Yes, and that would be a pleasure. How is my angel feeling today? Very much better. Thanks for last night, sweetie. Shh, don't mention that, baby. It's an obligation to me. So what would you like to have for breakfast? Mm, anything. There you go again with your anything. Madam, you were asked to make a request. Anything is not a request. So here comes the question again. What do you want for breakfast? Okay, tea, bread, egg. Nice one. So hurry up and go brush your teeth while I prepare the meal. Breakfast is here, baby. Oh my goodness, Kelly. Oh, what a surprise. Oh, this is so romantic of you. Thanks so much, Day. MD, when did you say you would bring the money? Maybe this weekend. There you go again. What is maybe doing in an urgent situation like this? I just told you now that the landlord has given us this weekend as the deadline to pay our house rent. Besides, they just paid you last week. How come you have already squandered the money? MD, listen, I won't keep paying this rent alone because it seems as if me bearing most responsibilities in this house is now making you to be living an extravagant and irresponsible life. Listen, I give you the grace of today and tomorrow to go get that money and give it to me. Unless, get ready to watch the landlord throw our things out of this house by weekend. And you know what that means. You want to go back to square one in life, isn't it? I don't know why you like embarrassment so much. I don't know. I said my sympathy, madam. So sad to know that you're a widow. So you said you were doing a trade before your husband died. Yes, sir. After my husband died, the business folded up because most of the money we used for his burial was for my business. So it made me to run down financially. Therefore, couldn't continue with the business. Oh, sorry about that. What about your daughter? I heard you said she dropped out from school during her second year at the university. Yes, sir. She was schooling in a private university. But after I ran down financially, she couldn't continue because I wasn't able to afford her fees again. Oh, what a pity. Your stories are really touching. 
Anyways, I would like to help you to start up a good business and also to help your daughter in furthering her education. Oh, thank you so much. God bless you, sir. Relax, madam. I haven't even done anything yet and you're already thanking me. Anyways, I will try my best to help you as I have promised to. I would also want to make a request from you and your daughter. What request, sir? Please, can you tell me? You see, ever since I have been coming here to eat, I've been observing your daughter's attitude. She's so beautiful, calm, well-behaved, polite, and humble. To be frankly speaking, these qualities of hers has made me to fall in love with her, and I would like to seek her hand in marriage. Really? You want to marry my daughter? Yes, madam. She's the kind of woman my heart desires. Interesting. I will talk to my daughter about it. I have always wanted my daughter to marry a very good man, whom will take care of her. For the short while I have known you, you have been a very good and generous man. Andy, I don't know where I will get this money now. I don't know. It is a lie. You must know. Don't even tell me that word before you get me angry. If you don't have the money I ask you, then go and say your woman hair wig and bring the money to me. Besides, I bought it with my money. Mm, I should say my woman head? Yes, say your woman head. In fact, you can say your own head too. I don't care whatever you say to provide me that money before we can. No, I will not say my woman head. I will not sell it. Okay, let's watch and see. If you do not sell it yourself, I will come and take it and sell it myself. I will take it away from my house and I will hide it in another place. You will not see it. Oh, now I see. You are becoming smart and wise. It's like human head wig is now giving you small little sense. You want to show me smartness, Abby? If I come to die your house and did not see that human wig head, consider yourself dead that day because I will beat the hell out of your body. Try me and see. No, 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 nonsense. Queen, this man is so nice. He also promised to sponsor you in furthering your studies. In fact, he gave me 5,000 naira that day before he left. That man is so generous. Queen, that man is a God sent to us. God has sent him to wipe off our tears. Queen, I want you to give him a chance. I want you to start up a relationship with him so you can know him better. I believe you would love him if you give him a chance. Queen, are you okay? You have kept silent ever since I've been speaking. Aren't you excited about this? Dokas, what is the name of the sickness that is doing you? I don't know. I am having headache. Feeling one kind, as if I have malaria. Malaria? Okay, so have you taken any drugs? Yes, I have taken malaria drugs. But the sickness did not stop me. So I want to go to my sister's place so that she can take me to the hospital. She asked me to come. Queen! Queen! Yes, mommy? Please help me confirm if this is an alert. Yes, mom, it is an alert. How much? 50,000 naira. 50,000 naira. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Wow. Queen, guess who sent me this money? Guess? Mom, please tell me who is it? Mr. Aaron. I told him the last time he came that I spent so much money on the journey I made to the village last month and that I am in need of money now to buy more food items for my business. So he promised to send me some money after collecting my account number. Oh my God. I never thought of him sending more than 10,000 Naira. This man is really kind and generous. May God bless him all. Amen. Queen, no sign of excitement from you. Imagine someone sent us 50,000 naira and you are walking out this way. Mom, what kind of excitement are you talking about? I mustn't scream or dance to show my excitement. Okay, thanks to him. He has done well. May God reward him for his kindness. Am I free to go now?
Queen. Mom, I was on my way to fetch water before you called. I need to go hurry up to carry my gallon at the tap before someone else carries it. I'm out.